I listened very carefully to uh, Premier Li Keqiang uh, government work report and outlook for uh, year 2022. Well, it's always very important, so it's always a very expected moment uh, uh, in uh, the year um, to figure out what will be the tone uh, for the year to come. I think this year is particularly uh, important because it's a transition year. And I would say the key word I retain uh, from uh, the speech and the government work report is stability. China has been very quick and diligent uh, to manage the pandemic, uh, resulting in, a, in an industrial uh, fleet that was available for the rest of the world, which was still disrupted, and uh, also was able uh, in 2021 to absorb uh, the surge in demand, both domestically but also internationally. These were quite outstanding conditions. So everybody understand that uh, this year will be different. But it's also a year where obviously from uh, Premier Li Keqiang's uh, speech, uh, it is back to fundamentals. It is back to fundamentals of encouraging uh, domestic consumption and the development of services. It's uh, back to the fundamentals of modernizing uh, the Chinese industry and manufacturing, uh, creating more added value uh, in order to increase GDP per capita, uh, of course. Uh, it's also back to the fundamentals of the low carbon development objective. And I think the, the words are important, low carbon development. It's not only decarbonization of existing, it's, it's actually embarking uh, a low carbon objective within the uh, GDP growth and within the development of the Chinese uh, uh, economy. Many of our clients uh, have uh, mobilized uh, towards uh, uh, low carbon development. It's quite impressive to see how the awareness uh, has improved uh, in a matter of one year uh, uh, since uh, the pledge towards carbon peaking and, and carbon neutrality has been made. I've been living in China for the past uh, uh, seven years and I've, I've uh, seen uh, a lot of uh, transformation. Uh, and I was already in China in 1993. Transformation is incredible. What is also amazing is the agility, the very pragmatic adaptation uh, of all players, central government, regional, local governments, but also companies, private uh, and uh, state-owned alike. The agility to adapt uh, to changing conditions uh, and to follow the objectives that are set. So I'm quite confident that this agility will be at play again to maintain this stability. This stability is important not only for China, it's important for the world.